Hello Kansas City and Quackamish here to Late the Dodge, your 2016 Dealer of the Year. Today I'm going to show you how to take the hard tops off of a Wrangler. Your freedom panels up front, including your back piece, all the way in the back. Okay? First thing I'm going to do is jump into it. And I do want to state the example I'm giving works on a four door or a two door. Either one does not matter. There's only one step difference, and when I get to that step, I will explain that to you. Other than that, they're identical. So, what you're seeing now on the four door can be done on a two door as well, step by step. First thing I'm going to do in the roll bar, right above the driver and the front passenger, you have these little wheels right here, here and here. I've already pre loosened them. Normally, they are very, very tight. You guys sit here and unscrew these things for about Oh, probably a minute. But since I've already pre-loosened them, they should come out pretty fast here. If I can turn it the right direction. There we go. So you just keep turning them until they come completely out. They just pop right on out. Just like so. Once they're out, they do fit nice and snug inside the cup holder here in the center. If you wish to lay them there, that way you know exactly where that. You don't lose them. Next step, we have the two visors. We're going to pop the visor off and then turn it on both ends like so then we have these little handles we have one here and then we have three one two three in the back so what we're going to do we're just going to turn these handles you just basically going half a turn back is all you're doing just to release it once that is done, you're then going to pop this handle forward. Just take a hold of it like so and just pull it forward. And you want to keep pulling it all the way until this comes off that metal hook. Just like so. Once that is done, then they are free and you're able to pop them out. When you take these out, the driver's side always comes out first. So we're just going to push straight up. It's like so and you see it comes straight off. I'm going to get outside of it. I'm going to take it off completely. Now these weigh about 20, 25 pounds. If that, I might be exaggerating just a little bit with the weight. Now I'm going to come over and take off the passenger side. Again, when you take them off, your driver comes off first, passenger comes off second. And it must be done that way every time including when you put them back on. You always want to put your passenger on first and your driver on second. We do that purposely so you do not tweak the seal that keeps your water out. If you put these things on backwards, there is a chance you will tweak this, get it all corroded, bent up and twisted, and then you start having water leakage inside your top. Okay, the next part of this, I gotta get the hex kit. Every Wrangler from 2015 and up comes with a Jeep hex kit. If you bought a Wrangler that 2015, they still sold this kit. However, it did not come with a vehicle. You had to go to your parts department or accessory department from your Chrysler dealership and purchase this. But as of 15, they actually started supplying it with the hard tops of the two-door and four-door Wranglers. So inside this kit is a ratchet and little hex keys. We're going to use the middle one. This middle one right here, this is the one that takes off the pins for your back top. And this is the ratchet. So, as I stated at the very beginning of this video, the only difference between a four-door and a two-door was one thing, and that is this right here. On your four-door, you have a pin that sits right here, Right there are my fingers on top of it right now, and you have one on the other side as well. Only on the four-door do you have the two pins in the top and the front. The two doors do not, only your four doors do. So I'm gonna take these two pins out. Just gonna turn it until it just comes completely off. Okay. Once you get both those little bolts, pull it completely out, you've got it in your hand. You can come to the back of the vehicle, and in the very back of it, you have a cubby hole back here where you can take the pins as you're taking them out and stick them inside where it says roof. It keeps them nice and tight, that way you don't have a fear of losing them or anything like that. Now, the next step you're going to do, you've got three of the same little bolts 
on both sides. You got three on this end and three on this end. Now this is part of the two door as well. The two door will have them on three on this side, three on that side as well. Remember again, the two door will not have the two pieces, the two bolts up front, however. So I've already pre-loosened all these, so I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna twist and pull out. One, two, three. And I'm gonna do the other side. One, two, and three. And again, I'm gonna open this up and place them in here so I do not lose. Okay, now that the pins are all out and I got them tucked away right underneath me, I'm now going to disconnect the water line and the defrosting line, okay? So, you've got this big one here. There's a little red switch right here. You're gonna push this little button forward. It's like so. Then grip here with one hand and put your thumb right there. Your other hand is gonna hold up here and you're gonna hold them tightly together and then pull with your strength apart from each other. Just like so. Water lines the same way. On the water line, you have a little knob right here on the top of it. It's kind of funky looking. It's offset, it's not exactly round, it's kind of oval shaped. You're gonna pinch there with one hand, the other hand will hold the water line cable up high and again you're gonna pull apart with your strength. Just like so. We do not want you taking the water line and just grasping the holes and just pulling down because you will yank the whole thing out and you will have water everywhere. So once these are disconnected, you can take them and tuck them in, right, like so. Underneath the frame. That way you're not flapping around in the wind when you're driving. All right, next step you're gonna do, you're gonna leave the window up and you're going to close tailgate. Now I've got a friend of mine. He's a salesman that works here at Aletha Dodge. He'll introduce himself and he's going to be the one to help me actually take this off. I do require that two people do this. I do not care if you're the biggest of guys, have the biggest upper body strength possible. It's always safer to have somebody help you do this process of taking this off so you do not drop the hard top. It's very expensive to replace if you damage it. So Brian will grab one end, I will grab the other, and we're just going to lift straight up, and then come right over that tire like so, and drop it straight down the ground. And now your Wrangler is completely top free. You are topless at this point. So again, this is a tutorial on how to take off the front two freedom panels and the big back piece of the Wrangler. Come see his Aletha Dodge, especially come see Brian. He will more than happily sell you a Wrangler. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.